of the walk. Are you ready? You ready to go? Mum's going to work. That's okay. She'll be back. She'll be back. Okay, now it's time to grab a coffee. Take him for a quick walk to the coffee shop and then we'll go for our morning exercise. After I grab my coffee, start taking the dog for a walk. Usually he needs one to two hours in the morning. <coughs> Mostly just walking, uh, some swimming, <laughs> uh, occasionally, maybe twice a week, I'll go running with him. Uh, lately, because um, I'm doing such high mileage walking the dog, feet are a bit sore, so I've reduced the longer running to just sprinting which seems to work pretty good and Jack actually really prefers to sprint anyway he's, he's not really fond of like a slow long trot which a lot of runners do one thing that's not ob obvious with a Belgian Shepherd um, when we take him driving Quite often he, he'll be very chill and just go to sleep in the back seat. And other times he'll put his feet on the ground uh, between the center console and he'll put his head on my arm while I'm driving or he'll stand behind me and put his head on my shoulder. So if you get a Belgian Shepherd that's one of the things you're going to have to tolerate is um, the amount of affection that they have and they are very affectionate dogs <gasps> Hey cutie Here's yeah, so a part of the walk that we do in the morning is I usually try and take them to the dog park just for about just a short amount of time um, because Jack is really a dog's dog, he's not a people dog. Uh, what I mean by that is he loves to socialise with other dogs. Not particularly interested in socialising with other people other than our immediate family. Um, so he's quite aloof and unresponsive to a lot of people. That's not always the case. So I had some sprinting planned today to do after this. And then we'll take him for a swim, but we'll see. It's been flooding here, so the ground might be actually too too wet to walk on. Okay, and now that he's had a little bit of a play in the dog park. He's dragging me to the creek to go for a swim. Again, because of all the flooding, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be safe. I might be actually flowing too fast, so we'll see in a minute. 
just to give you an idea we've been walking exercising for about 45 minutes now and we're up to about 2.7 kilometers so it's all very casual I mean a lot of stopping he likes to sniff a lot I've been told by um, the dog trainer to actually encourage his sniffing so I let him sniff as long as he likes Yeah, as you can see there was another dog here so now he's enjoying his quiet time just standing in the water looks like he's trying to tread water against the current and not moving anywhere sure about other Belgian Shepherds but he loves to swim. Probably his most favourite exercise. And probably the second most favourite exercise will be running with me. Yeah, he gets so excited um, that he trips me up quite often so I'm not sure how to train him to not do that so I guess time will tell. No, oh, thank you, running off. Hey, come here, come on. walking with Jack. Uh, part of the reason I choose these larger parks is I can take him off leash. He's generally very good and he loves actually running around a bit. The only issue sometimes is even though he's getting pretty good with recall he doesn't listen that good when there's other dogs involved and especially when they're playing with him. to play with him. I guess I'll do a little run with him. So we're about 90 minutes into our walk now and we've done about four kilometers. So I did stop to do a little bit of exercise for myself and um, I find that downtime is actually good for him. It teaches him to be calm and uh, not react to dogs when they walk past so it seems to help quite a bit and he's actually in the routine of doing it now so I don't actually have to do anything he just does it himself Flash has started to develop the 
Jack has started to develop the habit of um, pushing me to run every time we go for a walk. You ready? Come on. Come on. Okay, bye. Don't push me. He's a little bashful because I got the camera out in front of me. Come on. Watch out. You wanna run, don't you? You wanna run? Okay, okay. Cushy boy. I'm not going to run with him today because we're going for a trial run tomorrow so I need to conserve my energy. He though could probably go every day. Come on. Okay, I did some sprints up and down the soccer park. I did six of them. Jack was quite happy running with me, except for one time where he lost me and he panicked and he went the wrong way. Right hand. Jack looks nice and relaxed. And looks like he wants to get out of the car and go for a sleep. Okay, we're back home now. And the entire morning walk took about two hours and I walked about five and a half kilometers, which is about average. Usually I do between, anywhere between three and a half to seven and a half. So that's what I walked. Um, Jack also swam and ran around the dog park and also he's playing with that dog by the lake. So he probably would have done at least a few kilometers more than me. So, Now he won't get any food until about 1 p.m. So he's going to be quite happy just sleeping for the next three hours. So, and that's exactly what I want. You know, I want, don't want him to go stir crazy, creating a mess in the house. So he's nice and relaxed now. He's all, he's all tuckered out. As you can see, here, he's quite happy to just chill out now. Eh? Good boy, Jack. Good boy. Much of a day, he'll lie right next to me while I'm doing a bit of work. And even though he appears to be sleeping, he's not really, he's just keeping an eye on me. As you can see, he's awake, but not looking. Isn't that right? Hey, look. Part of Jack's day, especially after eating, he's playing with his toys. What's up? What's up? You want to play? Huh? You want to play with your rope? Eh? What have you done to this thing? Oh God, you bring it on. He loves to play tug. We've had to replace most of his toys because he doesn't take them long to chew through them. This toy he's got now is actually not very good. It's actually got a an extendable head on a thick elastic which um, which I don't think is good at all. my fingers a bit because he does get a bit excited and a few times he has bit me by accident so 
hasn't drawn blood, but I can feel the pressure in his jaws, and he's got a pretty strong bite. Okay, we're finishing up our walk and someone's having a little bit of a hissy fit because he wants to go for a swim. So the way he tries and coerces me to do that is just lies down and rolls around. You ready? Ready to go? Okay, we finished our afternoon walk. So um, it's about 6.30 p.m. So now we're going home. And looking at my watch. It's a bit over 10 kilometers walked for today. So that's, you could probably get by with as little as Six or seven, I guess. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but that's sort of what you can expect to have to exercise your boating ship at every day, even when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs>